Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with an application review of something I'm really excited about. Um, this app, really honestly, I think is the first browser I've ever used to actually replace Safari on your iPod Touch or iPhone, and it is iDroid Mini. Um, it's got a lot of really cool things that, that Safari just doesn't. Um, it has a new tab page similar to what you might find in Chrome or Opera. Um, it's got full tab browsing. It works. Um, you, you guys will see in a minute. Very, very cool tab browsing. Um, and it also has uh, autocomplete Google search. So when you start to punch in the URL uh, in the address bar, it'll automatically Google search it for you if you like. So it's got a lot of really cool things, and uh, I'm I, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Anyway, guys, let's get this one started. Okay, let's get this one started. So first thing you'll notice, and I thought it was kind of funny, is that the icon is the little Android thing. Um, Apple's been kind of well, <laughs> Apple and Google have been going at it a little bit lately, so I'm kind of surprised that Apple let them use that, but uh, hey, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and open it up. And the first thing you guys will definitely see is the new tab page. And i got to say, this is very, very cool. The new tab page allows you to add up to nine different sites, and, uh, and basically it shows little uh, thumbnails of each site. And all I have to do is press on them to go. So let's go ahead and go to the Apple website, so just click on it, and it will instantly start to load it. Now, uh, let me, while it's loading, let me go ahead and give you guys a little uh, background on the interface. Along the top, you guys will see that it's, that is the full address bar. Okay, so along the top, you can go ahead. If I tap up here, if I tap up here, oh, of course, it's not gonna work. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so if I tap up there, it will pull up the address bar. So let's go ahead and X out Apple.com. Let's go to somewhere else. Let's go to actually, I'll just show you guys. Um, let's look up. Let's let's do a Google search. So I'm going to search iPod Touch. So see here. Now it automatically uh, does a, a Google search, or at least an autocomplete. So it pulls up a lot of stuff. iPod Touch Singapore. That's a good one. So if we go ahead and search iPod Touch, we just press on it, and it will automatically bring us up to a Google search where we can see, you know, iPod Touch and all that kind of stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, now. That's well. It's got a cool sound effect, but I don't really don't like this menu. But I'll get into that in just a minute. Let's go ahead and kill the tab and come back. So, the top bar is pretty cool. It works nicely. Um, now, all these 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 are pretty cool. I like being able to just want to one tap and go ahead and come over. Um, and obviously, if you want to add one, just click on it and go. Um, I have no idea. Google.com. So just type it in. Google.com. Then hit OK. Then just give it one second. You see the little spinning wheel. Basically, it will go take a snapshot of Google.com. You see right here. So if we want to click on it, it will bring us to Google.com. And if we want to get rid of it, all we got to do is just hold it, and there it goes. So it's nice and simple. You really can't move them around yet, but you know it's not a big deal. Okay, so now all this stuff is fine and great, but the main thing is with this browser, obviously, has got to be the tab browsing. Um, as you see here, there are four little buttons down here, along with that, which I will get to in a second. Four little buttons. Each one of these can be a tab. Okay, now if you look down, you'll see that there are uh, the little uh, little uh, circle things. Those are lights, and uh, those are pretty cool. So I should just go ahead and give, give you guys a demo. Let's go ahead and open up Gizmodo. Now you see there, the light starts flashing. That's just when a tab is loading. So that's a pretty handy thing. So if, we're, I'm, if I'm loading a different tab, I'll look over here and see this one's done. So as you see here, it's a full, it's the full browser like Safari. I mean, you know, it works just the same. You got the same same thing and everything. You can go ahead and click on something. Um, you also have multi-touch. So let's go ahead and open up a new browser. Open up the Apple site. As you see here, Gizmodo, we have it over here. You know, working just fine. But while we can re be reading this, we're going to be having another page loading in the background. Um, it's pretty cool. It works. Obviously, um, if you have a newer device, like such as like a 3GS or a third generation iPod Touch, this is probably going to run a lot better. I'm running a second generation iPod Touch, and it does occasionally get a little laggy. Um, so let's go ahead and, you know, we still have our pinch to zoom. You see it's got a little bit of lag, but it's not bad. Our pinch to zoom, we can do whatever we want. And of course, we have our other tab here. 
So another cool thing about the tabs is that if you want a preview, which I will say this is not exactly really that helpful, but if you want a preview, just hold your finger over it, and you'll see that a little preview appears. You let go of it, and it comes. So I mean that's not a big deal. I mean you should pretty much figure out <laughs> what tab, what the page you're looking at is. But uh, what I really like is the tab handling is pretty solid. And I'll say pretty solid because I have been able to crash this. Although I will say that this is actually the new version, the 2.0 update for this application. Um, yeah, I crashed the one 1.0. This just came out this morning, so I haven't been able to crash this version yet. But I bet I can. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open up some more tabs. And you'll see that it's pretty solid. So okay, we have two sites, one loading, and let's open up CNN.com. So you see here, I mean, we're taxing the device pretty well. I mean, you've got two tabs loaded up in the memory, and then we have two tabs loading. And you see there, they are taking a little bit of time. But it's still not bad. You see here, that one loaded just fine. And, oops, there we go. Now you see it's starting to slow down a lot. And, but it's still usable. We still have three tabs, and we can go ahead and, you know, click on anything we want. And once the tabs are loaded, it's really not a big deal. Um, as long as, you know, it's not crashed or something. I mean, if once you have a tab uh, loaded, you know, you can just scroll through and read it just like normal. And uh, obviously, like I said, the uh, pinch to zoom and all that kind of stuff still works. Well, give it a second here. There we go. And still works. As you can see here, I mean, that was that took probably five seconds to do it. And this is not running 100% smooth. But... Still, it's not bad having four sites up. You know, Safari, you know, it's got tab browsing technically, but it's not that great. So now let me go ahead and show you guys this. Um, this is the little drop-down menu. You hit that button, and it pulls up a bunch of different options. Um, you've got Find, uh, your Bookmarks, Close Tab, Add Bookmarks. But this is where I don't like it. Go back and go forward, or both on this. So basically, I'm... Whoops. Close the tab. Um, if, I want, if I'm going, like, let's say I'm Gizmodo. Okay, and I'm like, oh, this story's good, but I want to go back. Well, instead of being able to do something simple, you have to, I actually have to pull up a menu, then hit go back. That's kind of annoying to me, because go back is, you know, something obviously you're going to use a lot. So to push it back in a menu, eh, not that great. Um, another thing is that it also supports full uh, landscape. So everything disappears, and we can just scroll through here just like normal, or we just put it up like this, and then we have our full UI back. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and kill off a couple of these tabs. <laughs> but as you see here, it's nice and snappy. Go ahead and do it. You know, you can scroll through between them. And it works pretty well. So let's go ahead and just kill all of them. Anyway, guys, that is my review of iDroid Mini Browser. Um, it's a really solid application. I'm loving it. Uh, it's better than Safari. I, I really... Uh, actually, I had the 1.0 update uh, before, and it was pretty glitchy, and I was really didn't want to uh, change from Safari but ever since that uh, this new one that came out this morning the 2.0 update I have no problems whatsoever I haven't run into any glitches or anything uh, I mean yeah I, once you load up four tabs it can get a little slow but I mean come on that's that's still pretty good I mean I mean unlike Safari where it constantly kills your tabs off this will actually run a bunch of them so it's really really solid um, iDroid Mini Browser is currently 99 cents in the App Store. And guys, for 99 cents, this is really solid. I mean, between the uh, the search bar, or the Omni bar, kind of like on Chrome, you have your new tab page, and you've got four tabs. And really, that's the main thing right there. Uh, i got to say, iDroid Mini Browser is really solid. Anyway, guys, I definitely recommend it. If you don't mind spending a dollar to uh, get a much better browser, then you're definitely going to enjoy it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.